Hi guys, it's Nick. Follow me and I'm going to show you what to start off with is a normal ear canal. So guys, this is a normal ear canal. You'll notice that the walls are all nice and smooth. We've got a lovely clear tympanic membrane. Um, everything's nice and smooth. There's no obstructions. Let's begin, let's see what begins to happen when we start introducing cold water and wind on a regular basis. Right, so this is a first stage. You can see that there's a small area of uh, bone growth, small dimple in the side of the ear canal, but also notice how there's a uh, rich blood supply, lots of veins all around the area. In fact, on this second one, you can see the marked areas of uh, the extra veins that are helping to supply the blood supply to this new bone growth. At the moment, these aren't a problem. And if this person starts to wear ear moulds at this stage and doesn't introduce any extra cold water or cold and wind, um, and it's not just surfers, it's uh, windsurfers, people who do lots of jet skiing. Um, if they start to wear protection now, they are going to slow down that rate. In fact, they'll stop it. Right, okay, this is the third uh, picture. We are now really, we're getting into serious trouble. You can see that they've begun to grow all the way around the ear canal. And uh, it, we're now getting to the stage where it's beginning to involve um, parts of the eardrum which means it's narrowing the um, gap in the middle so you're beginning to get redu possibly reduced hearing. Um, the next step from this is it will just keep growing and growing where it completely occludes the ear canal. This is the final stage. Um, the growths have now got so big that um, there's very little space for the sound to travel down onto the eardrum. The big problem with this now is, is that the water can get trapped behind those bony growths and what will happen is you'll end up with a very serious ear infection and you'll keep getting repeated ear infections because you'll be getting bacteria, sand, all sorts of debris will get left behind and can't be removed. This is completely preventable by wearing ear moulds and wearing um, a hood. Wear a neoprene hood. I know it don't look cool but the surgery for this is horrendous, very uncomfortable. And the only way these are removed is either by using what is a, basically a surgical Dremel to grind them out, or the other favored way is they literally will use a very small chisel and they will chisel those bony growths off. It is very uncomfortable post-operatively. It's very, very uncomfortable after you've had the surgery. So please, please, just think twice before you go in the water, put the ear moulds in, put a hoodie on or the head cover and then you'll prevent this. Why would you want to risk losing your hearing permanently?